Yeah, so how would you describe your sound to people who've never heard about you before? My sound, I would think it's an international sound, you know what I mean? Because I'm really an artist that uses flows and melodies mostly, you know what I mean? I don't really use a lot of lyrics in my songs at times, so I think I have a, a crossover sound as well. You think it's important to have a crossover international sound in today's market? Definitely, you know what I mean? Because the music, remember, so the outside world is bigger than Jamaica, so we definitely want the music to spread to a wider mass of people, same way. So I think the crossover sound works. So, speaking about internationally and abroad, who are some of your musical influences, people you still listen to and want to? Not emulate their sound, obviously, but, um, you know, these are people who you, you, you look at their journey, you look at their, their, their fan base, and you're like, all right, one day, who are some of your influences? My main influence in dancehall music, I would say, is Vibes Cartel, you know what I mean? Yeah. A Vibes Cartel really set that. The new era, the dance thing, you know what I mean? The new era thing, so. I uh, even learn from me, learn from, you know what I mean? I would say I want to be like Cartel still, you know what I mean? But I don't want to influence me, you know what I mean? So it sounds like Gangsta and Lizard Padlim, them hot right now. Do you have a formula with that you use to sit down and write some of your, your bigger songs, your bangers? All of my music is still based upon the rhythm, you know what I mean? So, and the rhythm where you give me, I sing, I sing, and you know, so anything where you rhythm, I tell me for the way, you know, I just got me people, you know, I'm saying. So, who are some of the producers that you work with right now? I don't know why GF is me from day one. And I mean, one government that's an over label, my label, you see me? We work with various producers still, you see me? But really, why GF1 government right now, you see me? So tell me more about um, Wildside government. Um, tell me about the, the, the camp and how many people you have. Um. Well, Wildside government still. It's really a family thing, you know what I mean? So, there's a lot of people, you know, the dear ones, them there, and them from Wildside government from start, you know what I mean? We have Trans One Govers artists, bombers, same way, you know what I mean? Yeah, but Wildside, it's bigger than, yes, me just Jamaica alone. We have Wildside out of Jamaica, same way. So, you've been releasing. New music videos almost weekly or weekly. Is this a strategic move to kind of stay on top of the the curve, in, especially in, during this COVID time, maintaining relevance? Well, that has always been my strategy, and I mean before even COVID, as a mess up. We just have continued with work, and I mean you know visuals. You know what I mean? They're more appealing to the audience eyes than the song, you know what I mean? So we always like the people them visual. How have you been coping with COVID? Especially since the other day we hear about how they're opening the sports industry, but the entertainment industry is still closed. How have you been coping with that? Well, you know what I mean? We still are living here, isn't it? So we just are doing music, same way, everything governed from my side, same way, you know? So you're coping well? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so in your song Smooth with Skilly Bang, you described having a dozen girl a day. You have a large female fan base and they want to know, are you off the market? <laughs> I'm not eating a man. Yes, <laughs> my goodness. But 
You know what I mean? We, we sing for you girl, them still. It doesn't make a girl in love while side, doesn't So I always I sing song for you girl, them doesn't. So you've released Bleaching Cream, Bleaching Cream two weeks ago, and it came with a lot of criticism from the public. What is behind this sudden change in you? Well, my music is, is reality, you know, you know what I mean? I sing about what I do on a daily basis. I when I see I go on something. I start bleach my skin, I see some of those things I sing about bleaching cream, you know what I mean? Those will be real with the public. Mm -hmm. Speaking of your hot on music, um, your music, some of your music videos like Lizard Pond Lim, you know, the music videos are crazy. So who's behind the creative direction and the concepts and the style you think Well, Lizard Pan still, I think the director was the, the one who came up with the idea of the video, you know what I mean, the whole concept, but most of the times, I really, my idea, me would say, construct my video, them, you know what I mean, yeah, definitely. So you style yourself as well? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright, so from your lyrics in your songs and social media, it's no secret that you enjoy, you know, weed every now and then. Do you prefer Slip Hytal or Ugrabba? I always use Ugrabba still, because Hytal weed is my choice still, as you know, so, yeah. Okay, so once, I, once it's considered hot, trendy and cool at sleep, we said that you're certified sleep. What would it Make you be considered certified sleep? Well, me in general, I mean, Javelin, I mean, one government, you know, definitely, man. Alright, cool. So, to end, where can you fans find you on social media? I don't know. At Javelin and any social media platform, no, I did not take off. Javelin is straight, as well. Alright. Thanks, thanks for passing through. Yeah, big up for yourself, said we.